Well, here we are cutting beans uh, Saturday. It's the last Saturday in September. Uh, sorry, I can't tell you the date. I'm pretty sure I'm lost. Uh, it is. I don't need to tell me. Yeah, September 23rd. Okay, no, it ain't the last Saturday. Okay, no, we're good. I'm getting ahead of myself. But cutting beans here, uh, picked a little bit, uh, picked some corn yesterday, didn't do hardly anything. Um, we got the combine washed out and all that, the headers washed out, uh, the two loads of beans to Terre Haute, or home, or custom hauled to Terre Haute, uh, and all that. Uh, did a little bit today, did an NCGA, started cutting beans about 3 o'clock, 3.30, so we're rolling on beans. Uh, got there's 49 acres where I'm at. Uh, finished the field from the other night. I got it done. Uh, there's 29.9 acres left. Uh, semis uh, maybe half full. So we'll finish filling it up and we'll call it a night. Tom has got to go back to shop. The uh, spreader pan or the pan that helps direct trash flow into your residue spreaders, the residue pans. Uh, broke out to pieces, so I'm making windrows, but uh, I'm not something to fix it. We're going to fix it in the morning. Uh, dealer's coming up to do some welding on it uh, and look at it and see if it will even hold. I'm having my doubts, but they're going to look at it. Uh, they're going to be here at 10 o'clock, so picking the combine back to the shop tonight, which I can put fuel in it back there and all that, so that would be no big deal. I can worry about carting fuel to it, so I can get all that done. going to try and get the wheat planter on tomorrow and get it on and try and get the plates and all that in uh, just so it's ready uh, just have it ready to roll uh, going up to one field tomorrow that's going to go to wheat can get it cut uh, well, we, well we'll finish it we should we'll, we should finish that field Monday because uh, they're going right in the bin there right next to it so yeah we should get that field done Monday no question asked uh, yeah, uh, you know, we should make it pretty, we won't make it much of a dent tomorrow, we won't work out late, but yeah, we should, if we get, if we leave 60 acres left, even me and Phil should get that, another guy will be there, so yeah, we should make a pretty good dent in that, but we shall see, and just kind of go from there, but we'll like to get that wheat planted and all that, and get that done, get at least that field done and all that, get the planter figured out, uh, kind of go from there. Uh, I'm going to stick you down here in the corner, guys, so I can kind of watch the combine, but yeah, kind of here, I'll let you, I'll let you look forward, or at least a little, get a little bit of view. Uh, sorry for the view not being the greatest, but yeah. Uh, no, that's the view. Uh, not doing too bad, uh, just kind of, we're doing as good as we can do, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Going pretty good. NCGA yield was good. Uh, can't complain. For the well, for the year, we'll not complain a bit. Uh, for the year, uh, they was good. So for the year, happy. Uh, these beans are still doing good. Uh, looks like these are going to run in the upper 60s somewhere in there, uh, give or take. Uh, we'll know a lot more tomorrow. Uh, uh, I've probably cut, I've got the worst cut out, so that should help as well. But. I, I won't complain on the beans. Uh, the other field will be cut. I got to look at the tickets. They all went across the scale. I got to see what they made across the scales. Uh, we did get eight tenths of an inch of rain uh, Thursday, so that was a welcome. So the dust is a lot better than it was. So that is a good thing. Uh, so that makes it feel better. Uh, but beans are basically back now and under dry, under dry again. But people was cutting beans yesterday and uh, they were dry. We probably should have stayed in beans, but the first load we cut was 12.9, so yeah, and that was three o'clock, so probably not. Now these beans here, I'm showing uh, right at 12, so anyway, uh, that's kind of the updates and kind of go from there, but uh, yeah, rolling along, another unloading the green cart right now, and uh, Kind of just going along as we can. Uh, go from there, but you know, like I said, we'd like to try to plant some wheat middle of the week. Don't know if we'll be able to or not, but uh, that will.
time will tell on that and just kind of go from there. Uh, we'd like to get one and get the planner figured out and just kind of get one field done and out of the way. You're going to be, that'd be about 45 acres of uh, Agrimax 520 uh, ultra early variety of wheat. Oh, yeah, that's going to fill the hatch. So, uh, I'd like to get that one done and planted and out of the way and forgot about. Uh, got 50 acres of beans east to east of Marshall that would cut. Uh, or west of Marshall that would cut, I think, as well. So, that would be nice to get them done as well. And, and they will cut as well. So, we can basically get down with the strip around here and go up there. But we got 100. 20 acres at least to do around home before, before, we, before we ever make it there. Okay, one second, guys. Uh, green is told right here at the end. We're taking the combine home. We've got a piece broke on that, on the spreader back here. I'm making a windrow. So just hold right here at the end and I'll dump off it and see what I got. Be ready to roll home. And that, that should be board point until the semi. But anyway, but that's where I'll leave the update. Uh, I'm going to go to finishing this here soon. I'm going to go finish this from corn on corn. Finish up the six acres next to it there yesterday. So be ready to go. And hope you all enjoy and like the video.